let's talk about the velvet uh, effect. The velvet effect you can apply either in pastries or in hollow figures, like here in the X in this case. In order to do that, you need chocolate, classic chocolate, three drops, and cocoa butter. It's a mixture of 60% chocolate and 40% cocoa butter. When this is melted together, we take a airbrush gun, warm. You see, I just took it off from the chocolate melter. It's really warm, okay? We put the liquid on it and we're gonna spray the pastries or the halal figures, okay? They need to be frozen, so they need to come from the freezer at minus 18 degrees Celsius to get this perfect velvet effect. Before you start, first measure out all the ingredients. This recipe requires about 60% chocolate with a tree drop fluidity and 40% cocoa butter. You can pick any chocolate you like, dark, milk or white. The next step is to melt both ingredients together in the microwave and give them a little stir halfway through to mix them well together and keep the ingredients from burning. Back into the microwave and there you go. Gently mix it until nicely smooth and homogeneous. If the final temperature of the sprig and mixture is around 45 degrees Celsius, it should be ready to go. Best use a fine mesh, check if it's clean and pour the mixture through it. Also, make sure to pour the mixture into a preheated spray gun immediately. This will keep the cocoa butter from setting, so the mixture won't block the spray gun. Now, it's time to take the hollow figures out of the freezer. They have been in there for about 3 minutes at minus 18 degrees Celsius. It's important that they are really cold, to give the hot air gun mixture a thermal shock. And it's exactly this thermal shock that will create a beautiful velvet-like texture. Now place them in the spray booth. If you want to create a perfectly even layer, simply make a smooth upward and downward seesaw motion while spraying a thin layer of chocolate mixture. This might take some practice at first, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it quickly. So, in order to have this nice regular velvet effect, you take the spray and you make this beautiful movement from up and down. Not too much. If you spray too much, then it might peel at the end. And now I'm going to show you the same thing, but with the pastries. Pastries should come straight out of the freezer as well, before spraying them. Like I said, it's the thermal shock between the ice cold pastries and the hot spray and mixture that produces the velvet effect. And while I'm decorating my pastries, I have left my hollow figures in the fridge at 8 degrees Celsius so the chocolate can set. That shouldn't take more than 5 minutes. If you have some leftover spray and mix, always keep the spray and container in a heated cabinet at around 45 degrees to keep the cocoa butter from setting. Or keep the colored mixture in a separate container in the heated cabinet. That way, you'll always have it at your disposal, ready to use.